music is a huge part of my life, whether it's making it or listening to it. In a sense where I you know, can't really imagine what my life would be like without music. It just seemed freeing or powerful or something. I mean, I feel really weird being on stage without a guitar. I mean, there's this sense of like, it's like in, in front of me, like it's a shield or clothing. I just feel secure with it there. It's doing a ton of different things. It's a way to express myself. It's something that, you know, brings comfort. It's something that is calming, but also giving energy. It's doing a ton of different things. It's, uh, it's my Swiss Army knife. I don't know who told my mom that I should play piano first, so she just thought about that that was a good idea. I would think it was a good idea. I mean, I knew the whole time I was playing piano that I was waiting to play guitar. There's just something iconic about a guitar, especially an electric guitar, and, you know, I'd have a toy guitar, an air guitar, like, just something drawing uh, about it. In junior high, I got into to punk rock. I loved the kind of the the earnest, raw quality, the honesty, the uh, willingness to question things, and um, yeah, and that energy that that wasn't so set on you know having everything perfect. I've never really wanted to to shred. Uh, I just wanted to, to play. I remember trying to write songs, being fascinated at you know, crafting together, you know, what feels like a verse, what feels like a chorus, how do they work together, how does the song progress. Um, I mean, very early on, I just really started carrying my guitar everywhere. So we're in downtown Santa Ana. It's a weird mix right now of like super hip and like all the old like just Mexican shops that have been here forever. Thrice is really my first real band. Like kind of fooled around with uh, Tepe and two other dudes for like half a minute uh, and then realized, yeah, that wasn't going to work. And so we started Thrice. We grew up playing at uh, Coos right down the street here, uh, which was like an old house from like 1900s and just wood floor and you'd play like on the floor. I feel like we were trying to forge some new path that we didn't know because we never really fit in. You know, we'd play on the hardcore show, play on the punk show, we'd, I feel like we'd probably play the ska show. As time went on we kind of started to tour and then it was like, all right, here's a tour offer. It's for, you know, two months, so what are you going to do? I didn't really have a lot of second thoughts about it seeing what was possible. It's a weird journey when you get to a point and you look back and, you know, I, our band is way bigger than most of the bands that I was, like, super, super into when I was uh, younger, especially, and it's, I, I just, that doesn't really register in my head. You know, there's something amazing about playing live and having your guitar be super loud and you're in a room with a bunch of people who love this music as much as you do. You know, there's music and there's, there's words and then you're bringing those together, creating something and then performing it, which takes on a whole nother life. Um, That's amazing. It takes on a different quality at that point. It's that moment when you get in the room with, with everyone and it, we're all participating in something.
playing shows. I love creating. It's also the hardest part of what I do. And it's the the only time that there's like really tension in our band is is it's generally a good tension, but in trying to hash out, you know, what is this thing that we're all building together? That's how the best relationships are. There's there's an otherness, but then there becomes uh, something blurring that line. And I think that's what's partially pushed me to to want to find the perfect guitar for me. And I think that's driven my quest for, for Tony. <laughs> a certain practicality about my mindset and things and I'm always looking for like what is what is the one guitar that's gonna be right for you know almost every situation and I think that's one of the interesting things about music man guitars it seems like there's a legitimate care about hearing what the artists are needing from it and letting that drive uh, design components Has confidence knowing this guitar has got my back. You know, it's 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 not gonna let me down. It's weird that I make a living hitting these things, you know, and vibrating chords and strings, and uh, I do feel like. It's what I'm kind of made to do, and it's super gratifying to do something that I really love uh, and be able to you know, support my family doing that. I know this is what I'm doing.